Hey there, I'm Mary. I've built a six-figure business with YouTube and digital products, and on this channel, I share everything I've learned. So today, I'm breaking down Stand Store versus Beacons AI to help you decide which one is the best platform for you to sell digital products and monetize your online presence. Both platforms are super popular for creators and entrepreneurs trying to monetize, and they are both full of pros and cons. But which one is actually the best for your business in 2025? I've used both Stand Store and Beacons AI, and I've tested both of their features. So in this video, we'll break it all down. Pricing, features, ease of use, so you can make the best choice for your business. Okay, first let's talk about what they are. Stand Store is a dedicated e-commerce platform built for creators by creators and influencers. It helps you sell digital products quickly and easily with your social media accounts. And you can also sell courses, memberships, and more right from a simple storefront. The link and bio system is really what Stan is built around and you can customize your shop with your branding and manage all of your payments easily in one place. They've made it super simple for creators to monetize. Beacons.ai started as a link and bio tool as well, but they've grown far past that and they have a lot of features inside of their powerhouse platform. Now you can not only showcase your social links in your portfolio and create a media kit, but you can also sell digital products, build a website, send email marketing messages and create media kits and more. It's really great for creators who want an all in one solution. So these two are very similar with what they offer creators and businesses, but which one is the best? When you're talking about these platforms, you need to compare the pricing because that will make a difference for a lot of people. Stand Store has two plans that are paid and they do not have a free plan. The creator plan is $29 per month and the creator pro plan is $99 per month. That includes every feature, which includes email marketing, upsells, and pixel tracking. So a lot of the more advanced features are on their $99 per month plan. There is no free plan, but you you do have a 14 day free trial when you use the link in the description box and you can decide if Stan is right for you during that time and cancel with no fees. There are no transaction fees with Stan, which is a great feature because you're not losing more of your money. You're just paying a standard $29 or $99 per month and that's it. With Beacons AI, you do have a free plan available. This free plan is free per month, but there is a 9% transaction fee on sales. So you need to make sure that you're aware of that and if you're selling a lot, you'll need to get off that plan. The next plan is $10 a month and that still has transaction fees. And then once you get up to the store pro plan at $30 per month, there are no transaction fees on that plan. So it includes all of the features and no transaction fees. So really once you get to compare the prices and the platforms, they're very similar, $30, $29. And then with Beacons AI, they do have a $90 per month plan that is their business pro. And that includes some additional features that are Google Workspace, extra storage, and onboarding. So they have a few things that Stan does not have at their higher price plan, and they have a lot more functionality and customization over there. So the key takeaway is that Beacons offers a free plan. So if you absolutely have no money and you need to get started, you can use Beacons free plan for beginners and get started there. But if you are successful, you'll need to quickly get off that. So you'll be upgrading to the other higher paid plans pretty quickly and that means they're very comparable to Stand Store. So Stand Store does not have that free plan, but they do not charge any transaction fees. And like I said before, Beacons charges a 9% fee on the lower plans that they have. So if you're selling things and it's working, it's definitely worth upgrading to either of the options for the $30 per month. So let's talk about how easy these platforms are to use because I find that to be very important, especially for beginners. Both platforms are designed to be user friendly. They have drag and drop features and tools, and they have a very simple dashboard where you can see everything about your business, your analytics, your sales. The stand store option is slightly more streamlined for e-commerce beginners, and it's a lot easier to use in my opinion. They have ready-made templates and an intuitive setup. It took no time at all to set stand store up. I have multiple tutorials on how to do this. It's very, very easy. It's also much faster and easier to set up 
products and just easier to use quickly because it feels more intuitive to me and I didn't have to search for any of the features. It all was easy to find and easy to implement. They have definitely focused on the user experience for the creator using this platform and it shows. Beacons does offer more advanced features and customization options. So you can do a lot more with Beacons. You can change the look of your store. They include preset color palettes, font choices, and you can generate <laughs> designs with AI. So they have a lot of AI suggestions built in throughout the platform. They also just have more functionality over there. So you can do more. You can even use a custom domain there, which with Stan Store, you cannot. So if you are looking for something simple and easy to use, I definitely go with Stan Store for simplicity and Beacons for customization and flexibility. I personally prefer Stan Store just because it is so nice to not have to worry about finding things, doing extra work, and figuring out where stuff is. So if you want to get started quickly and easily, Stan Store takes this one. And then if you want more of the functionality and customization and advanced features, then you go with Beacons. So let's talk more about those features. Both platforms support similar options. You can sell digital products on both. You can do courses on both. You can offer memberships on both options. They also both have the link in bio storefront. So you can have the social media ready link in bio page. And then email marketing and automation is available in both options. You just have to pay for which plan includes that on Stan or Beacons. And then they do have affiliate management and upsales on both, but there are a few key differences in features if you are interested in which offers more. Sandstore's $29 per month plan includes courses, memberships, and basic email capture, but it does not include the advanced features like email marketing. So if you are planning to build a real business and use this platform for everything, it might not be the right choice unless you're ready to do that $99 per month plan. And that is where you will get access to email marketing and payment plans and some of the advanced features. With Beacons, the $30 plan packs in a lot more for less money. So you will get email automation, order bumps, advanced analytics, and AI tools for copywriting in that plan. You also get SEO help, pixel tracking and that custom domain that I mentioned before. So if you're trying to compare the $30 plans, the Beacons plan offers more and Stan Store does offer less at the lower price point. So that is something that you may want to consider if you're looking for more functionality at a lower price point. Next, let's look at the customization and branding options with both. So Stan Store offers pre-made templates, customization colors. You can have fonts and options added to your storefront so you can make it look how you want, but there is some limitations with this and it does not allow for a lot of custom options. There are people that create stand templates for landing pages. So with those templates, you can do a lot more with the landing pages and make them look how you would like. You will have to learn a little bit more about how to use stand and go a little deeper and purchase those templates because what stand offers just inside of the platform itself is a little bit more limited, but it's great for getting quickly set up and stand is very recognizable now because so many creators have opted to use Stan. It is very familiar to people and they're not scared to use Stan to purchase products, to give you credit card information. And honestly, that counts for a lot when you're trying to sell products because trust is important and people do trust Stan Store a little bit more, I think, than Beacons AI. So that is helpful when you are considering what it looks like when the customer's coming to your page. However, with Beacons, you have so much more options in terms of what your store looks like. They offer multiple layout styles and they offer way more color palette options. And they also have all of those AI tools to help you design your store and change how it looks like. It also integrates seamlessly with your social media profiles and it looks really polished and it is a lot easier to make it look exactly how you want and work with your own existing branding. Okay, now let's move on to how is the customer support and community with these platforms. They both have solid customer support. Honestly, they really respond quickly, usually within 10 hours. That same day that you send a message, you are going to get a response. Beacons does offer community tutorials and onboarding when you sign up with them. So they have a little bit of extra help when you sign up. And of course, they have more flexibility with some of the advanced features, which is something you might want to be aware of and can change how you feel about 
what the platform offers and the support they offer. Stan has focused more on building community lately and also offering some of the more fun perks like conferences for Stan creators and plaques when you hit certain milestones in revenue. That is something that can be really motivating and fun and you feel like you're part of a bigger community, which Beacons doesn't really have. So if you're interested in being part of a creator community that is all using the same platform and succeeding together, Stan offers that, whereas Beacons does not but they offer a little bit better, maybe one-on-one -on -one customer support. Okay, so the real question, which one's better? Which one should you choose? If you prefer a simple, easy to use, creative-friendly platform with easy setup and no transaction fees, you are going to want Stan Store. It's a solid choice. It is a reasonably priced platform for what you're getting. And it's a great choice if you're focused on selling digital products, if that is your main focus and you don't need all the advanced customization, you don't need any of that, you just wanna get started and start making sales, Stan Store is probably the right fit for you. If you wanna get started the fastest and easiest, go with Stan. If you are looking for the most features for your money, if you're looking for advanced tools, if you're looking for all of the extras, then you'll probably want to go with Beacons because they do offer more on the paid plans, the higher plans. And if you're selling the same amount of items, then those paid plans at Beacons offer really unbeatable value. They cram a lot into those plans, probably so that they can look a little better when they're comparing to services like Stan, but they do just frankly offer a lot more for your money. They also have the free plan. So if you are looking for a free place to start, Beacons is a great entry point. But if you are successful with selling products, you'll want to quickly move on to either a higher plan at Beacons or to Stan so you avoid those really high transaction fees. So really depending on what you are wanting and aiming for, you might be team Stan store, you might be team Beacons AI. It really is a win either way because both platforms have made it so easy to sell online and monetize your platform on social media super easily. Both platforms are fantastic for digital entrepreneurs, but the best one depends on your business goals, your business needs and expenses, your budget, and how much control you want over your online presence. Personally, after using both, I've decided to use Stan Store just because I really appreciate the ease of use and intuitive nature of what they've built over there. Plus, I really want to get a plaque once I hit my next revenue goal. So I'm very motivated by that. And that's why I've stuck with Stan Store personally. But I think Beacons AI is a great choice too. So let me know which one you are choosing in the comments and why. I would love to know which platform you like best. If you haven't signed up for one yet, definitely click the links in the description box. They are affiliate links, but they will give you special offers and free trials. So you will be able to start with a little bit of a free head start. And I hope that you found this helpful. Definitely subscribe to Create With Pennies for more. If you are getting started on either platform, I have tutorials on how to get started with Stan and Beacons on this channel. So definitely check those out and I'll see you over there.